Good morning. My name is Claire Behringer with Behringer Aero. Today we're going to talk about a new product called Sensair. So Fabien, uh, as a pilot, I've been told that I need to check my tire pressure every month. Uh, but honestly, who does that? Uh, you have to, most of the time you have to remove the fairings or you just uh, are in a rush to go flying. You just don't have time. Uh, but I mean, it is important when you think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you do need to check your tire pressure for your own safety and for the safety of your passengers. So it seems that Behringer has patented a new system uh, to help you monitor the tire pressure and temperature. Can you tell me more about it? Yeah, of course. Uh, this is the system we've came up with. Uh, we're going to explain a little bit more in the, in the next few minutes, but uh, it's a simple system that fits inside our wheels. Mm -hmm. It only works on our rims and uh, it allows you to get temperature, pressure, uh, and all the data you do need uh, before flying. Mm -hmm. So without taking the fairings off, like you just said. <laughs> so we're going to see how all of that is made. Well, that's a good looking box. Uh, what's inside? Yes, it is a good looking box indeed. So this is what you get once you buy Sensair. So it's a simple box, uh, nice looking. So inside it, you get the manual. Mm -hmm. And everything you need to know about sensor is in there. You get the actual part. We will see later on what's in that with the cards and mm -hmm. everything that you need to know about. And this is the actual product. You nice. Can have one. Thank you. So yeah. Mm, a couple of years ago, uh, when we started to think about that concept, uh, we thought about the requirements uh, that go with uh, certified aviation. Because mm -hmm. as you know, we have a wide range of uh, certified wheels and brakes. Uh, and it's hard to modify the design very. Um, so we wanted to develop the system that was uh, um, able to fit and to retrofit uh, mm -hmm. all the Behringer wheels that we have sold for the last 12 years. Um, mm -hmm. So we needed a design that was uh, light and simple and easy to use for pretty much any pilot. Uh, so that's what we came up with and uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about the specificities of the design because it's, it looks like a complex product. Well, like you said, the easiest, the hardest to make. Mm -hmm. So we, first of all, this is a component that's made of uh, a carbon ring. Oh, that's this, why it's so elastic. Yes, mm -hmm. the, that's the specificity of it. All the fibers are directional fibers in order to give you the stiffness required for uh, assembling and also holding while it's rotating around the wheel. Mm -hmm. So that's why we've chosen carbon on this part. The other components are made of uh, printed parts, which is the l one of the latest technology, which is mm -hmm. SLS. Mm -hmm. So it's printed in powder, a, a, a sort of plastic powder. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, you, you have like the counterweight, like you said, counterweight that allows you the centrifugal force to be, uh, you know, equal. Mm -hmm. And then the other side, you get the sensor, which is mo thermal molded inside mm -hmm. it. So the, the, the assembly is completely closed, so which allow you to not have any uh, liquid or any problem with mm -hmm. it. It's all mm -hmm. within it. And this is the little bit that emit um, mm -hmm. the data to your phone. Okay. And uh, I've seen you with uh, Sensair on our bench uh, to test it. Yeah. Uh, what were you trying to demonstrate? We, with the bench, we actually simulated landing. Mm -hmm. So we went up to 300 km an hour speed, which is around 200 miles an hour, mm -hmm. in order to check uh, that the system was working correctly and we didn't have any you know, elongation problem or, mm -hmm. or wrong balancing of all the assembly, mm -hmm. which uh, the 300k was mm -hmm. no problem. Okay. And I, I remember you said about uh, how many Gs did it take on the bench? It's about, you probably hit about 2,000 G. 2,000 Gs? Yeah. Wow, geez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've talked about how the products was made, mm -hmm. what it was for. Uh, now, uh, 
we need to to know how to mount on the blimp. Of so course. can you show me? Yes. Right. I've got some. Uh, I've got a rim here to demonstrate this quickly. So this is what we're gonna be working on now. So this is a six-inch uh, rim that is just for show. Mm -hmm. But it is how you mount your sensor. So effectively, the whole system rely on on that um, flexibility movement. Yeah. Okay. So this is basically it. This mm -hmm. is the the old patent ideas be behind this, but it's that simple. Just like it. Just like it. So with a tire, you would probably put the first half of the tire and the sensor within it, and then close mm -hmm. the wheel completely and then do carry on with your normal tire changing procedure but okay so it's not bolted it's not no, there is no no screws no glues no no nothing it's just slide on mm -hmm. and play and you said that uh, there was a counterweight so yes. if even if the sensor m rotates a little bit on the wheel yes uh, that was what then one it, of, yeah. it, there is no uh, problem of vibration yeah. or unbalancing, right? Exactly. That's one of the points that we worked on. Otherwise, we would have reduced the weight by just taking this counterweight off. Mm -hmm. But we do need it. So, like mm -hmm. you said, if the sensor just turns like this, it's always equilibrated within the assembly. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter mm -hmm. where and, it is. And it doesn't damage the wheel. No. Yeah, because it's plastic, you said. Uh. Exactly. Okay. So it's all plastic and also there is protective tape on the inside of the carbon band. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. well, that looks simple indeed. It is very simple. Mm -hmm. we, we've worked on four sizes for now. So mm -hmm. you've got the four, five, six and eight inch. Yeah, you pretty much covered the whole. Yeah. I mean. But we can also... Like you the know, standard sizes. Yeah, we will probably work on some other sizes in the future, but you mm -hmm. know, using the same, same system. Mm -hmm. Right, Claire, so we've just spoke about the technical aspect of sensor. Mm -hmm. So we've actually mounted one inside this wheel here. So can you tell us on how you connect it and how you play with it? Sure. Um, so this sensor uh, is not connected to a reader uh, with a wire, mm -hmm. obviously. So it communicates with a mobile app through a Bluetooth signal. Okay. Uh, so you can download the, the application from your mobile uh, through the Android market or the App Store uh, under okay. the name of Sensair Behringer Aero. Okay. So the app is free, of course, when you buy Sensair, um, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's easy to use. Okay, so everyone's got potential. Um, yeah, right. So, uh, I mean, everyone has a smartphone, so mm -hmm. everyone basically has a sensor in his pocket. So it's, it's very straightforward. Okay, cool. Can you, can mm. you show us the, the actual app? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to pair it uh, okay. um, in front of you. So uh, you, let's say that you bought Sensair, mm -hmm. uh, you got this big box and you have this ID card in okay. the middle of, of the ring, right? Yeah, okay. So you take that card, there is an ID on it that is uh, individual to each uh, sensor. Okay. So uh, what you do is that you go to the app that you have downloaded and you enter the sensor ID in your phone. Yeah, just a second, so it pairs up with the wheel. Mm -hmm. oh, here it goes. So now you have your airplane. So this is a glider with just one wheel, uh, okay. but obviously you can have as many wheels as, as you want. Uh, okay. You can select if you have a tricycle, a tail dragger, okay. a gyrocopter, pretty much okay. any type yeah. of airplane. Uh, and uh, so you connect all the ID cards mm -hmm. uh, with the app. And you can choose which sensor is going to go on the front wheel or the left hand wheel or the right hand wheel, okay. whatever. And you can even, you know, slide them over uh, if you okay. want to change them. In case of a mistake or... Yeah, right. Okay. Um, you can also uh, select uh, any uh, amount of planes that you want to register in your, okay. in your account. So let's say you have 10 airplanes in the hangar. You're going to have uh, airplane one, airplane two, airplane three with their own sensors. Okay. So there is no risk to, do, to go to the hangar and, and, and by accident check the pressure in your neighbor's, uh, neighbor's airplane. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah, and I mean, it's simple. Uh, uh, Sensair is available right now for uh, experimental aircraft, for okay. now. Uh, so any experimental ready, uh, gliders, uh, trikes, gyros, tricycles, tail draggers. Okay. Uh, 
We have a project for the certified aircraft coming up. Uh, it's going to be available within the next couple of months, hopefully. Uh, so for now, I mean, it's ready to go. Wow, cool. So where, where can I buy this then? Uh, you can buy, as every product from Behringer, you can buy from Behringer Aero uh, Dealer Network. Uh, and for uh, US customers, you can buy from uh, Behringer Aero USA out of uh, South Carolina. The presentation of Sensair was the first that we made in our brand new studio here at Behringer. Uh, we hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any question, any comment about the video, please put your comments down there. Yeah, any, any new products or anything to come up with this on these videos? So, yeah, so we're going to try to do that pre sort of presentation every month or so. Uh, so again, if you want to know more about a specific product, about the company, about a specific airplane that we're working on, please comment. Well, thank you. See you later.